Hey, I'm Chris and I'm here today with Buddy in the back and Lila who's over my shoulder here. You can just about make her ear out. Today we're at Molsey in Surrey. We've come to do a little video about the wilderness and all around this area. It's where I grew up, it's my childhood playground. So I've been looking forward to doing this one. And I'm, yeah, hopefully going to have some, some proper interesting things that I'll know about this place. Or just some places that I can point out. So, let's go wander. So where we are at the moment, we are now in it's Nielsen's field, and this used to be this used to be owned by Mr. and Mrs. Nielsen. I think they were farmers or something like that uh, when they left or died or whatever it was. They left the land to the people of Molsey, and it's just been used here as a place to come and walk and have picnics and play with the kids ever since. When I was a kid, we used to come over and we used to sit in the tree. <laughs> that tree just behind me, the big tree, uh, big oak tree over there. We used to go and climb in that. I think a lot of the branches have fallen off now. That's a bit of a shame. And uh, I'll spin you round. Just behind me, there's the River Mole, which is we used to fish in there. It used to be good. We'll go and do a little little shot of that in a second. We have the River Mole at the green end entrance to uh, Nelson's Field. Nelson's Field. When I was a kid, we used to fish down here. Used to be able to get in through the bars there, and there's a little platform down there we used to sit on. And you used to be able to see the fish in the river. It used to be so clear in the summertime. And there we would catch perch and pike, minnows, sticklebacks, gudgeon, eels as well. There were quite a few different species we used to catch out of here. And if you came down here with a net, you could scoop things out of the river. I remember finding dragonfly larvae water beetles, all sorts of interesting stuff. Very picturesque. Gets a bit of a problem with weed in here though. There's a lot of uh, some sort of like water hyacinth-like stuff. It's always been in here for years. They scoop it out and it grows back, blocks the weirs up. Now this is something I always remember from when I was a kid. It's the old graffiti wall. You often get people come up and actually do proper, what I call proper graffiti. You know, the proper graffiti art. Not that silly putting your own made up little nickname on a wall about a hundred times. Buddy. <whistles> Buddy's off on the wonder on his own. Go on mate, this way. Oh, looks like they're getting ready for a new design. Look at that. Here comes Buddy. Oh, that's pretty mad. That messes with your eyes. Oh, I can see something in it. There's letters in it, but my eyes aren't working quite right. D R S does? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you can see it. Answers in the comments afterwards, please. Yeah, when, when we were kids, me and uh, my friend Darren Willis, we used to come down here and uh, have bases in here. Sometimes his brother Matt would come with us as well. Russell Four Acre. We used to come in here and we used to make, make bases with sticks. <laughs> I wonder if any kids still do that. Probably not, they just stay inside now, don't they? Watching things like, oh, sorry, YouTube, oops. <laughs> right, so okay, let's carry on wander over here now. Here's the old tree we used to climb in. It looks pretty climbable still actually, I remember getting up pretty high in there. Now if I got up in there, you wouldn't get me back down again without a fire ago. <laughs> Don't do heights anymore. Kind of like that, that line from Strawberry Fields. 
Nobody sitting in my tree. <laughs> it's a weir pool. It's part of uh, a system that stops Melsey from flooding. It's a bit of a floodplain, surrounded by rivers. Got the, the Mole, the Ember, and the Thames all around here. It looks like, well, since I lived here, there's been a lot of change. They've put in some sort of little slip in here so people can either get boats in or out. Probably to clearing all that weed out that builds up, and that's probably what these boys are about as well. The old uh, football hut. When I was a, a boy, or another teenager, these were sort of abandoned and we used to come over here and uh, yeah, drink cider in them. <laughs> Made quite a lot of uh, good friends, people I'm still very good friends with today actually. Like Peter Alexander and his sister, Emma. <laughs> good times, good times. <laughs> where young buddy was just looking down there, there's a little inlet that comes out of, there used to be a big house here years ago called the Wilderness and there was like a little pond in there, it used to have otters in it, we went there on a little school trip because one of the girls in our class uh, lived there and they had otters they used to come down through and I do remember seeing an otter further off down the mole a few years ago when I was fishing it swam right past my feet It's a very, it's a shallow river, but it's a very pretty river. And you also, on occasion, I have seen kingfishers down here. I don't know, you can still see part of the gardens for a fancy house over there. What house is now? It used to be one house, and there's well, a squirrel. There's nothing you can do about it, Lila, because there's water here. Lila doesn't do water. <laughs> Come on then, let's go, buddy. Come on. Oh, that's cool. Bushes. Ah, and again. So this is the fields of the wilderness, used by Nazi Football Club, I believe. There's lots of goals and things over here. Looks like someone's been getting the old ones out and having a kick about. We're just heading along the side of the mole up to the River Ember, which is a, quite a big river. I think we have to put these guys in their leaves because they could be swans. Okay, so we're now just walking up the path here, going up towards this bridge which takes us over the River Ember towards Ember Court. And this river ember, as I was saying earlier about the swans, yes, there is a swan. He's a long way off, or she might be a long way off. Can't tell from here, obviously, what it is. It's a great place for birds, though. Can you hear that? How can you not? Could be hedge sparrows. In a hedge, making a lot of noise. And there's another great big weir down here. The weir down here. And again, it's another river which is absolutely teeming with life. I've even seen crabs in here. I was sitting just over here years ago on the phone to someone, and I noticed something scurrying up in the water towards me. Put my net in and it grabbed hold of it. Quite incredible. In the River Way in Guildford, you get the crayfish. I even had a pet one of them for a while, I caught it, I didn't want to kill it, so I took it home and I kept him in a tank for quite a while and called it Mr Pinchy. <laughs> this is on the other side of the inlet, it goes down to the River Ember. It's got the most amazing smell. 
so fresh, like a real fresh water smell. And I believe that if we head up here, I think this was, I think it's now some sort of home for the, dis the disabled or some sort of care home. And it used to be a mill, some sort of mill down here. So we'll go up and we'll have a look at that. Got some water lilies coming up in here. What used to be called, I believe, the old man's bridge when I was a kid. Because the old man's come out and shout at you if you were if you fished in here. I won't include the house, I'm gonna get, get in trouble. But there's a little waterfall in there, streams round. And it goes round past this whole building here. And if you go out of here and walk up this road, it takes you up towards and court. Sports Club, I believe it is. Metropolitan Police Sports Club. Well, I don't know if it's Met Police anymore, whether it's Surrey or not. <laughs> not sure. So we'll just walk back down this way now. There's plenty more to see. Just up ahead in the distance, as you can see, it's just slightly behind a tree. Let's move over this way a bit more. There's some towers. There's one here and there's one a bit further over. And they're on the edge of a reservoir, I believe. I've never actually climbed up there. I know a lot of kids did when we were younger. I never did. But there's a boat club over there as well. Just about off in the distance, there you can see the masts of the little yachts over right the top of those trees and bushes. The birds are going crazy, and the sun's coming out. Geese or swans as well coming over. Here we can see that weed I was saying about. Probably got in here from someone's pond or something like that. Who knows? Someone knows, I don't. But you can see the amount of clogs place up. It's probably what these little slopes are about going into the water so they can get their boats in and out to come and clear this. You can still fish around here. I don't know where else exactly where you get to fish in here, but uh, there is a sign back here that says that you need a rod license from the Environment Agency. No horses, no motorbikes. These be horses over here when I was a really little boy. Yeah, more of this weed on the other side. Beautiful river though. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed our little trip around the wilderness of Nelson's Field in Molesey, Surrey. Please like, subscribe and share the video. Add a comment, ask me a question, tell me where to go. There's now a subscribe button down in the corner. I think I'm pointing to the right area. Is that one? Is that one. Definitely not up there. Might add a little card, I think they call it, to the next video. But from me, Chris, Lila and Buddy, we're the Hairy Wanderers, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.